Early spring, day by day, the hours of sunlight slowly increase, and the cycle of life is renewed. Already the blossoms of the crocus have appeared. And soon the branches of Forsythia have produced their tender young leaves and flowers. Jonquils have developed new stems and leaves, but their time of flowering has not yet come. A week passes. Another week. And still another. until at last the full flower appears. This slow process of growth becomes even more impressive when seen through the eye of the time-lapse camera. There are times and seasons in the life of a flowering plant. A time for the growth of new stems, leaves, and roots. But this kind of growth cannot produce a flower. Eventually, in the cells at the tips of the stems, there is a dramatic change, and a new kind of growth begins. The time of flowering has come. The flowers of the jonquil appear in early spring. And as the cycle of the year continues, other plants begin to put forth their blossoms. spring to summer to autumn each kind of plant has its own time of flowering and each kind of flower as it opens has its own pattern of movement movement revealed by the time-lapse camera
there is beauty in the opening of a flower, beauty that plays a vital role in the cycle of life itself. Some flowers open only at night. The white petals of the datura can be seen more easily in the darkness by night flying insects. But it is in the daytime that most flowers unfold their blossoms. If the light is dimmed, a tulip closes its petals. And then when the light is restored, the petals are opened once more. The closing of a flower helps to protect its pollen from dew and rain. There are times and seasons in the life of a flowering plant. The time of flowering is also the time of pollination. Blossom has been pollinated, the time of flowering comes to a close, and the cycle of life moves on. The pollinated flower produces its fruit and its seeds. And now the cycle of life enters a more somber stage. The development of seeds may soon be followed by the death of the plant. The future of the plant species lies hidden in the seeds. For other plants, survival takes a different form. Under the ground, a part of the plant may remain alive, concealed and protected by the soil even after winter has brought death to other parts of the plant. A tree or a bush may remain alive throughout the winter, losing only its leaves. But here too, life slows its pace when the surroundings become too cold or too dry. The promise of further growth is locked in the buds on the branches. Slowly, winter runs its course. Days lengthen and become warmer. The state of dormancy is broken and the cycle of life is renewed. Each kind of plant responds in its own way to its changing surroundings. And soon the earth is once again brightened by the growth of flowers.